Hey guys. And maybe, maybe, maybe I don't really miss you. Pita is here. I just need a silence for later tonight. I think I need someone to hold me. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you are doing good today because I am not. But I hope you are doing amazing. I hope you have an amazing day today. As you can see, I'm not at school. I'm currently at home and it is Friday the 17th of June at 10.45 a.m. So I would currently be having recess right now if I were at school, but I am not. So, yes. Um, if you don't know, I am currently struggling a tad with um, school and mental stuff more than I normally am. So I'm not at school today because I just... Unlike my year coordinator says, I can't switch off negative thoughts with a flick of a switch. Um, so I could not, well I could have gone to school today, but I didn't. This morning, as I said, it's 10.45, so I have been awake for a while. I actually did wake up at a reasonable time. I haven't slept all morning. Um, I woke up at 7.30. I was going to go to school, but I just, I lay in bed for an hour instead, and I got up at 8.30. And then I came downstairs and I had some the best bagel for breakfast. It was so good. I just put avocado and lemon pepper on it. It was so good. Oh my god. It was like heaven on a plate. And then I watched some Staniolo triplets video because that always makes me smile. And recently my psychologist says that I have to do stuff that make me smile when I feel like bad so I did that and YouTube is normally my go-to if I'm having a bad day at school I also will just put hi Coco hello if I'm having a bad day at school I also will just put my earphones in and I will watch YouTube in class because I just can't deal with school <laughs> oh my god our tree has lemons on it so YouTube is my go-to thing when I'm not feeling very great in the head. Otherwise, play with Coco and Poppy, who are so cute. But, yes. And then, as I was saying, oh yeah, I had a bagel for breakfast. That was so good. And then, um, Odette is also at home because, well, she, she got a step further than me, guys. She got to school, but then she came home. <laughs> so, yeah. Odette's at home as well, so my mum told us we had to go for a walk, so we went for a walk, and I got myself a chai latte, that was like an hour ago now, and I've gotten back, and it's the last two weeks of school this term, can you see my dad? <laughs> um, it's the last two weeks of school, so, <laughs> so um, basically apparently that means it's assessment period which I didn't know we had this term because it's term 2 and I thought that like term 2 was our assessment free term because next term we have trials but apparently not and we actually do have assessments which is kind of like rude they could have told me that and like before I just like Coco don't roll in chicken poo you grot Look. Coco! Poppy, don't do it! Poppy! 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 What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so apparently I have a lot of assessments and. Mm. I already completed one of them, so congratulations to me. I did Society and Culture last week. No, not last week. It was literally on Wednesday. Um, but I did it the night before, and it was due at 9am. So I'm trying to not do that again. I kind of don't have time for that, and I'd like to get sleep, you know, because feeling sleep deprived, even though like I am not. So I have to do Modern History, which is due on Tuesday, I think. And I haven't started that yet and I have to pick my own question oh I forgot that I was listening to music I have to pick my own question on the Vietnam War which I really hate because like why can't you just give me a question like it makes my life so hard when I have to pick a whole topic and question and like ugh. but I picked um I'm doing American reasons wait no 
reasons for the American involvement in the Vietnam War because that seemed really pretty easy because it's basically just communism and a few other things that my teacher told me so yeah and I haven't honestly I haven't been doing much in modern history this term I don't really recall much of what we've learned but it's not even like I'm not doing the work like I am doing the work but I just don't like I think I just space out and do it like mind blankly like I literally don't recall anything we've learned I know there's a guy called no dim dm or something but I have no idea what he did or what side of Vietnam he was for anyway <laughs> so yeah modern history is going really great at the moment I'm loving it what else do I have I have English I don't know when that is I think it's Tuesday as well yeah because that's when we have a double and that's like an exam thing which I feel like is illegal like I've just done exams this whole year like I have not done a hand in English task since year 11. I thought it was just creative writing but then there was an evidence sheet that we had to fill out and I was like I asked my friend I asked Amelia I was like why the heck do we have an evidence sheet she was like because we have to write an essay and I was like but I thought it was creative writing she's like yeah it's both what why like what are you doing I it's literally the same thing that I've done every single exam and we all know I failed the essay part, okay? Why don't you just give me the creative writing and I can get a B plus maybe? That's so ridiculous. I've been doing it for seven minutes. I'm sorry, this video is probably just gonna be me talking and typing on my computer, but I just felt the need to do something. Um, so I also have to book tickets for a concert today. I actually have two concerts that I wanna book tickets for, but there's one where I'm like, oh, I don't know. So Dean Lewis, I'm definitely going to in Newcastle. And then there's Arctic Monkeys, and I want to go, but like, it's so expensive. Like, all my friends are going, and I'm like, okay, I'll go. Like, I don't listen to their music a lot. I probably would know their songs, but I don't, like, I don't add it to my playlist, you know? Um, and it's just so expensive. Ian Lewis goes on sale in eight minutes, so I'm just gonna wait until then, and then I'm gonna do my modern history for an hour, and then I'll do whatever oh I forgot I also have a pip that's due at the end of the term so, so I've got two weeks and I'm almost done kind of I've done two chapters which is pretty good considering I had only done like half a chapter a few weeks ago um actually that was like the start of this week I wrote a whole chapter in a week guys are you proud I'm proud anyways I'm going to do some school work now so I will talk to you guys later <laughs> When I wrote my pip, I have a completely different writing style to when I do any other essay. And like, it's really hard to switch up my mind to s go from pip writing style to normal essay writing style. Because although my pip's like really formal, it's also kind of informal because it's like my thoughts as a person, not just factual information. And modern history is not on my thoughts as a person. <laughs> So this is kind of hard. <laughs> it's been half an hour since 11 o'clock, um, but probably about 20 minutes since I actually started because I booked um, tickets for Dean Lewis and they're all good. Got them booked. We're going to Newcastle, Dean Lewis. Come say hi because <laughs> I'll be there. But And I have ridden that much, which... Look at my little note, because I hate finding sources, so I just leave it. Um, but, yeah, it might not look like that much to you, but it actually is quite a lot. And I'm having a snack of sour straps. And also, I brought myself a blanket, because it's a bit chilly. And my new obsession is wearing socks with my Birkenstocks. And, like, it's just so comfy. Brought out my laptop case, which has got all my modern history work for the time in it. How much paper I have in here? You can write a whole like, <clears throat> and literally, probably two thirds of this, no, three quarters of this is modern history. I even have a whole book in here, like. Anyway, I do a lot of drawing in modern history. But <laughs> I'm gonna go through this and hopefully I'll find a source so I don't have to find anything on the internet. Oh my gosh, I just found my um, Society and Culture Half Yearly, and if you were wondering, if you remember my Half Yearly vlog where I vlogged, I got 
15 out of 20 for society and culture and I, that was actually my best one was hospitality I got top of the class which I was like what the heck not like hospitality is actually graded or anything like I just have to be competent but anyways if you wanted to know um, I found two sheets of paper that will be useful to me so far and I've gone through that much <laughs> I did a whole paragraph for my monastery kind of most of it um, so I'm going to give myself a break now because it's 12.30 and uh, I'm getting to the point, you know, where you like, no, you're not going to do anything. So I just stopped. But there's, there's a lady here and she was like taking photos of her house for some reason. And I had to get up and move because I wasn't allowed to be in the photo. And no one, no one told us that, we're, that they were like coming to take photos of our house and so it's like a mess. And she's like taking photos to value it. And I was like, what the heck? could have told us and we would have cleared off the bench. Having some lunch now. I have, it's a salad from Coles. It's like the crunchy Asian noodle salad. It was what I was meant to take to school today, so. And then I'm watching Teen Wolf. I know you're thinking, you're like, uh, all you've done in this video is talk and eat. So that's basically what my life consists of. So I'm having a sausage roll. I'm still watching Teen Wolf. I've only watched one episode, but I just had to watch another one. <laughs> so. Did you eat it? Good girl, Coco. Was that yummy?